I want to talk about a subject I'm really passionate about, which is migraine treatments. Migraines are a horrible condition that people suffer from unnecessarily so. And I'll tell you sort of the reason for the motivation for my doing this video. First of all, what I would say is the videos that I've shot years ago in migraines are completely outdated by revolutionary techniques I've developed and invented in terms of migraine therapy. But the reason is two reasons. One is I just shot a video about fake Botox. There's a patient that was hospitalized for Botox treatment of migraines, most likely either due to using fake Botox or an aggressive, massive, massive amount of Botox is absolutely unnecessary. Uh, that caused her to be hospitalized and put in the ICU. And I, and I feel saddened because the number one reason I'm saddened is this person, when she recovers, if she recovers from this, will never be able to be, will never trust to do Botox because she will find it to be very unsafe, even though it's an incredibly safe therapy. The second reason is I just saw a news feed that showed up that said that pre-treatment of Botox before nerve decompression surgery to manage migraines uh, would be, is, has been proven to be very effective. And it's just, I just do not see a reason for that surgery. With my therapy of migraines, I can A, eliminate all migraines. I can eliminate a migraine that you you have literally walking in my, my office with a migraine. I'll get rid of it immediately. If you have an intracranial issue with uh, visual auras, nausea, vomiting, I'll get rid of it in one second. So if you even have it walking in my office, will be gone. I can get you migraine free, <clears throat> episode free, off all medications. And a lot of my patients I can get to treatment twice a year. So my therapy is incredibly, incredibly powerful. It is completely different from neurologists. I liken the analogy of what a neurologist is doing for Botox. They're using massive doses shot everywhere to try to get an improvement and they're missing it. So sometimes if you are a person that's getting treatments from neurologists, you probably sometimes get a good result, sometimes you don't get a good result, sometimes your result is okay. You're still on meds, you're still having breakthrough episodes, totally different from mine. And if you did get a treatment, if you got a treatment for a migraine while you're getting Botox, you may get some improvement, but my treatment will wipe it out right then and there. And in the past, I couldn't treat intracranial migraines. I couldn't treat things that were going from inside the head. So I talked about my old videos, my uh, pain going to inside or going out, that's all outdated. I'm actually able to knock out all migraines anywhere from front to back. So my strategy when I approach a migraine is I look at where the migraine's coming from. Is it coming from here, is it coming from here, or is it coming from here, or is it coming from all three of those? And then I target the treatment in a way that will help manage the migraine very, very quickly and so I can target and improve it. The dose to have you understand safety, because this has been a big concern, as I told you about all these fake Botox in the news, and clearly I'm articulating that I absolutely do not use fake Botox, I use FDA cleared product. So when you look at Botox, and I'm using Botox as a shorthand to describe all FDA clear botulinum toxin therapies, when you're using, this is how much I use for cosmetic purposes. This is how much people use at the neurologist for Botox. This is how much I use for migraines, okay? You say, well, how can you do that? It is an invention I've come up with that I'm, uh, I'm in the process of patenting right now. So if you, so this is where the risk, there's two risks with, with Botox in terms of the treatment. One is insane quantities, which some neurologists have to use, or illegal product. And really most of that danger is an illegal product. For, but if you're used to cosmetic product, I, it's this tiny. And the other thing I'll tell you is that sometimes if you go to neurologists who are not skilled in cosmetic treatments, you may get an eye like this or like this because they're treating some wrinkles here or there. This treatment, fortunately or unfortunately, does not manage wrinkles. So you will not have a wonky eye or something off put. It is separate just for migraines. So I want to be clear with that as well. So I hope if you're suffering from migraines, you come and see me because my therapy is bar none, completely different from anything you've ever experienced, including if you've been to a neurologist. And no, I don't take insurance. And if you think, well, that's a stumbling block for me to see you, then you're, unfortunately you will never know the quality which I'm going to deliver for you in terms of migraine treatments.